Vargas came in at 136, Johnny. Both these kids are 14 years old. And here we go. Vargas giving away some height and some reach. So he knows he's going to have to be aggressive. He's pressing him. Uh, Vargas has Fuentes trapped in the corner. Fuentes works out of it. Back in the corner again. Fuentes is, is trying to slow down the pace in this fight. Uh, Vargas a little herky-jerky for him, a little too much pressure. He's going to try to make his jab be a big force in this fight. That was a nice right hand that he put behind it right there. But his jab is going to either control or, or, or not be enough to control this fight. But we'll, time will soon tell us. Needs. He needs to keep moving forward, and he's got to keep his head moving. If he's standing still in front of Fuentes, Fuentes is going to pick him apart with that jab. He's going to be setting up right hands all day long. Now the head's moving again. Yeah, he took a little of that round off where, where he stopped moving his head and he stopped with the pressure. Let's see if he can do that this round. Fuentes in the red, Vargas in the blue. Painted the right hand, now he threw it in this. The mistake that, the mistake that Fuentes is making here is he's looking for that one right hand. He's looking for that one spot. He's got to let the hands go. He's got to throw in combinations. Nice right hand there. Another one. He's got to throw in numbers. And he really wants to stay off the ropes. If he could control the middle of the ring, it would, it would help him get that jab established. Nice short right hand by Vargas. Uh, by Fuente, I mean. Vargas is about to turn this fight. Fuente spins out of the corner or off the ropes and he hits him with a nice combination. And it's usually with that right hand first. It's been a nice round for Fuentes. Third and final round here, Johnny. Vargas. Juan Carlos Vargas in the blue, Alan Fuentes in the red. Vargas the aggressor. You know, it's interesting, I noticed in, in, in between rounds, uh, Vargas has a woman in his, in his corner. And, you know, women have come into boxing. Uh, they came in about 20 years ago. They, were, they established themselves. And they came in a lot earlier than that. But now you're starting to see the women cornermen because you know, 
your transition after you get too old to fight is you, you work a corner and it's, it's just funny to look into a corner and, and see a woman. I, I shouldn't use the word funny, it sounds sexist, but it, it, it's just different, it's interesting. I mean, uh, as a fighter, I, I thought I'd never see the day where you'd see a woman in the corner. Meanwhile, our fighter is doing pretty well here. Good seesaw battle. These guys are taking turns beating on each other. Wendy's loading up for a big finish here. Oh. Seeing some great fights tonight. This is about six, so we're going to be pulling at 50 50 raffle after about 10. So we still have. Vargas kid put up a hell of a fight, and now you see these two kids standing in the middle of the ring. He's given away at least seven inches, maybe eight inches in height. Hey, yeah. Let's give these two boxers one more big round of applause. And in this 140 pound division, judges one, three, and five saw this battle at 29 to 28. Judge two saw it, 28 to 29, and Judge three saw it, and Judge four saw it, 30 to 27. I winner tonight by split decision out of the red corner. And I thought that that was the right call. I, 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 I thought he controlled.